maybe they do need to be in certain spots. There we go, all pins inserted, all lights lit. We did it. The power's on now. It looks like there's electricity going to the monitor on top now. All right, let's see if we can activate the device on the top. A green button, a red button, and a lever. I wonder what these do. I think this might help. What? What the hell is this? Where did you find this? What is it? What is that? Where did you find it? I found it when we were messing around with the pinholes. It looks like instructions for this thing. According to what it says here, this thing's a remote control for that. That? Yeah, that. What's he pointing at? Oh. The machine over there, apparently it's called the Pushmaster 5000. Are you serious? Whatever. Whatever. So what are we supposed to do with the Pushmaster 5000? You see the coffin over the on top of the crates? Yeah. Don't you want to know what the deal is with it? I do. You want to check it out? Yeah. All right. How do you think we're gonna get there? Well, well, there were some crates on on the right side of the fence that someone pulled, piled up like stairs. Maybe if we make a path to the coffin from there, how will we do that? Line up the crates, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. I guess this is just another of Zero's puzzles. Yeah, anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh. Looks like the Pushmaster 5000 runs off a battery. So to keep it from using the, uh, up its energy too fast, it's been programmed so that it'll only start moving once its path has been completely programmed in. All right. I'll keep that in mind. New material has been added to the file screen. <laughs> You can move in four directions, you cannot move diagonally. If the Pushmaster 5000's move count exceeds the battery life, it will be reset. Cannot lift heavy objects. Reset, re input command. Back, quick command. Lever, start command. The monitor shows a top-down view of the area where we can move the machine. Once I want to send my orders to the Pushmaster 5000, I just push the lever. This is the reset button. It allows me to start over again. Once I want to activate the program, I just pull the lever. Alright, let's give this a try. Sure thing. Just keep in mind that there is a limit on the battery life. Battery, all right? The battery dies after 50 moves. At least that's not what it says in the manual. 50 moves, huh? Also, keep in mind that the Pushmaster 5000 can't move the heavy metal boxes, okay? 
Got it. Instructions for operation. When a square adjacent to the Pushmaster 5000 enters the clip, the Pushmaster 5000 will move to that square. If there is a crate in the way, the Pushmaster 5000 will push up to a single crate. Move the crates appropriately and efficiently and fill the yellow areas. Okay. I rolled it already. This is harder than I thought. Nope, that's, that one's ruined. Can't do that. The challenge is going to get it to that spot, that spot. No. I kind of want to push that one down and across that one in but I can't just push that one in because that will be against it once someone's moved down I can push that one in but I can't push it in from there
No. But it. Okay, I'm done putting it in the program. What do I do next? Just be quiet, quiet and watch. See, it's moving already. Awesome, the Pushmaster 5000 did just what I told it to and lined up all the crates. Great. Now we can re reach the coffin. We just need to climb those crates over by the fence. Just open it. Okay, okay. A small key and... A revolver? A gun? A gold gun? Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. This thing is... Are these real bullets? Oh, if this is real... Oh. You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. Yeah. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. Either Santa or Ace is gonna take it anyway. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. I still think he may take it. Most likely Santa, though. Me neither. Okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't gonna leave that key in there, are you? He never said he wouldn't take it. Of course not. We'll take that with us. Let's just put this key in here, and yes, sounds like that did it. Yay! Looks like it op it's open, Jumpy. I see. This key should open this door. Hey, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Yes, it's open. found it! I did find it! Yay! A long hallway, huh? Let's check it out. We've seen this elevator before.
We got off the one on the left just a little while ago. Ah. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Yes, and after that we passed through the cargo room. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Yeah. That works. It works! I think so. Good. Now we can go back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to Sea Deck? No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. I don't Looks really like trust it here. Only one door. There isn't anything else. It's the only way to go. All right. Let's open it. It's unlocked. There's the number nine door. <gasps> the nine door. <laughs> we found the nine door. <sighs> of course it wouldn't be that easy. Of course. Vacant. Huh. We finally found it. J Jumpy! Huh? Look! Behind you! Uh-oh. What? A nine door. There's another one. Oh? Oh! Why? It's nine, no matter how you look at it. It also looks like it's written in blood. That means that more than five people can leave. The red is there too. So this is a real one? Why? Why the hell are there two doors? So more people can leave. <laughs> there were always two doors. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. Yeah. It is hidden, it's hidden but an, an exit, exit can, can be found. found. Seek, seek a way, way out. out. Seek, seek a, door a door that carries, carries a nine. Just says seek a door that carries a nine. Doesn't mean seek the door that carries a nine. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. Because there's only one of each other door. After all, why would there be more than one? Oh, man. Ah. We fell for it. There are two doors. That's actually good, though. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. Yeah. No one would be left behind. Yep. Now it makes sense why the bracelets are numbers. One through nine. Divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Yep. And Take one, two, seven, eight, and three, four, five, six, nine, for example. The digital root for both teams would be nine. Or two, three, four, nine, and one, five, six, seven, eight. The digital root is still nine. There are a bunch of combinations that work, and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital root of nine, so would the other one. Yep. What does that mean? The answer's simple. From the very beginning, everyone could have escaped. The Nonary game was designed to save all nine people. That doesn't explain why they had the bomb inside of people in case they didn't follow the rules. That's how it was meant to be. Zero didn't lie. If it was meant to be to save everyone, then why have the bombs in people to kill them? He never said there'd be only one nine door. Yeah, we've already said that. But anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Yeah. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Yeah. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. But eventually, they'd reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. The problem with fighting against different teams, each room you enter, you're with a different team because your numbers needed in different combinations to make the number for the doors. There were two doors. There was no need to kill each other. You don't need to keep saying that. This game was designed we get for that it. purpose. This 
No to regain. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning. But if there had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more, everything could have been so much worse now. So, what are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? Oh, right. Although nine got killed right at the start, even with the remaining eight, they all could have left at the time. But now Snake's gone as well, not everyone can leave. Hey, keep it together, man. Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? What do you... We need to think about our next step. Uh... Our numbers are 1, 3, 5, and 6. That's a digital root of 6. The four of us can't open the number 9 door. The four? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. There's one combination that'll let three of us open the 9 door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? Wait for the others. No, we gotta go back. Yep. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Uh, are you sure? I I don't mind staying. You're not gonna be stay left behind. It's okay. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to go to Atlanta. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? Huh? Yeah. Oh, right. Atlanta is still a city that's dry. Atlantis is the one that sunk. <laughs> the lost city of Atlantis. You guys. Very well. Best we head back to Sea Deck then. We should be able to take the elevator we passed earlier. Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from door one. Even with all seven of us... Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? Yeah, not everyone can escape Let's find them. the other three first, and then search for another solution. I guess you're right. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Come to think of it... What is this room? We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony, but what kind? Huh, a, a coffin. What on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? Hey, Junpei, the hell are you doing? Let's move. Right, okay, I'll be right there. Uh, what? Look, it's... Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Uh... Clover is gone! Oh no. What? What do you mean, gone? When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. <sighs> it, it is pretty fire there. She's just found out her brother's been blown up there were four rooms on the other side of door one she wouldn't let us into the fourth room uh she just said i'll take care of this one and shut the door you still managed to get out of the area she must have blocked it with something on the other side we waited for a while but clover didn't come out we called for her but she didn't answer so that fourth room wasn't needed to escape your escape room anyway so I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. She was gone? That... So you didn't get in there? Clover wasn't there. Uh... There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No. We haven't. Very well then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. 
We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. There's no sign of her. Let's go. All right. I'm thinking we should probably split up. I'll head back to the stairs and take the elevator down to E deck. June, you can take the stairs up to B deck. All right, that sounds good. But, um. What? Could you stop calling me by that code name when we're alone? Uh huh? Uh, oh, uh, sure, right. I, um, I'll, I'll do that. Um, yeah, stop calling her Jane. Her name's Akane. You know that. Jumpy. Oh, um, no, it's nothing. All right, I'm going then. Yeah, be careful, Kane. You be careful too, Jumpy. Kane. Yeah, got it. Take care. They've got nicknames for each other. Tragedy always strikes when one least expects it. But to wait for a man to stand before striking him down seems almost crueler than dealing the fatal blow while he lies on the ground. A light in a dark place, June's smile had given him hope. Both for escape and possibly for something else. It was that hope that raised his spirits just enough that they might soon be fully dashed. He opened the elevator door and there she was. A woman sat slouched against the wall. Lotus. Junpei felt his blood turn to ice. Her body was limp and her skin smooth and pale as always. She's been shot. Was covered in bright wet blood. Junpei felt his chest constrict. He couldn't breathe and his legs began to shake. A slow, cold drop of sweat trickled down his back. He felt his stomach somersault. Junpei's mind went blank. All his thoughts were replaced with endless hissing white. Driven by a little more than instinct, he began to walk towards Lotus slowly. Each slow movement of his stiff limbs brought him closer to her corpse. Finally, he stood next to her. Robotically, he bent down and put his hand against her neck. There was no pulse, no rise and fall of breathing. She was slightly warm. Something, somewhere, in Junpei's shaken mind, told him that meant she had been killed recently. Yes, Junpei thought, his mind slowly returning, she had been killed. Someone had killed her. There was a deep cut on the left side of her chest. Blood still oozed from it, although clearly her heart had stopped beating some time ago. So she was stabbed, not shot. The weapon had been a knife then. Perhaps she had been stabbed in the heart once. She would have died immediately. He took little comfort from knowing she must have suffered very little. Only then did Junpei notice. Lotus's bracelet was gone. Lastly, love discusses how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, you are hungry, which is zero. In the past, once the bracelet is taken outside the confine of the ship, or the backside of the narrowest heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Was that why the killer had ended Lotus's life? So that they might have the number 8 bracelet? If that was true, then the killer was whoever wanted the number 8 bracelet. Or perhaps more accurately, 
the person who would gain the most by obtaining bracelet number eight. Eight plus nine. No. What number was snake? It was two, wasn't it? Eight plus two is ten. Number four. Who was four? 